Hello, this is Brother Andrew. In this video, I'll show how to combine live action video with an eLearning Brothers template, and then to supplement it with stock video and some icons from the additional asset library, all of which are included in the Camtasia templates package. I'll go ahead and start by importing some media into my files. Okay, so the video that I've selected is uh, just uh, some footage that I went out and shot with Brother Taylor. Um, we won't be using any of the audio, so I'll go ahead and separate this video and audio. This is some nice footage, and, and I've tried to find a template that matches the feel of, of this footage. So I went ahead and downloaded a template. It's right here in my downloads. It's called the Twill theme. So I'll open up my library here, and then drag and drop the Twill theme into my library and it'll ask me if I want to import that zipped library file I'll click yes uh, twill theme twill and this has a a nice uh, green kind of a natural feel to it so let's go ahead and get started so in the video the first thing we will want to do as it starts right here First thing that I want to do is give it a lower thirds graphic. So let's go ahead and find the twill lower thirds. It's right here. We'll drag it down on top of our video. Zoom in so it's a little bit easier to see. And this is what it looks like. Okay, that fits nicely. There's some mov movement in there as well. So I'll go ahead and ungroup it. I'll ungroup this piece as well. And here's that text. So let's go ahead and give Taylor his credit. And we'll say Taylor is the host. And now when we play it, we need to regroup it and put the fade back onto it. And let's make that fade fairly short so that there's more time that it's on the screen. All right, how does that look? Pops up, gives them a nice lower thirds, and disappears below it. Great. Now, depending on what Taylor's talking about, we may want to have uh, some more information up on the on the screen. Now, what we could do is just grab one of these layouts. Let's say this layout and just drag it down onto our timeline and as it plays through it takes over the screen there and that's that's fine um, but I think it would be nicer to have some some images back here so what we can do is open up our library and we go to stock assets and if you have the basic stock assets package or the the basic Camtasia templates package you have access to stock video so we'll go to stock video and because it's a it's a nice uh, leafy green background let's go ahead and search the stock video library for trees and there's quite a few here so we gotta find one that kinda matches what we want. Here's some palm trees and a tower, and this may or may not work depending on what he's talking about. Um, some forested areas. This one's kind of nice, doesn't necessarily match what we've got though, what we're looking for. Uh, kind of like this one. Some flowers, and it's a very sunny day. Poppies. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab this one. So we'll download this video file. And once it's downloaded, we can import that footage into our timeline right here. But we can put in this Poppy's footage. And we'll need to resize it appropriately. Okay, let's put a transition over the top of it so it looks nice. All right, and you can't see anything here, so we'll go ahead and ungroup 
the layout and it comes out for quite some time. Let's go ahead and shrink that down a little bit and we'll put a closer fade on it in the transitions. Now the problem is you can't see the nice video we just did. So let's go into the visual properties and let's reduce the, opac the opacity until we can see the video. That's a little too much because now we're losing little words. So let's pull it up until you can really read those words. There we go. And now when you play that video, now you've got some nice footage pulled from the stock asset library. And you've got a nice layout that you can work with and give information with. And that's a little more visually pleasing than just a list. And having the list is, is much better than just having someone talk. So it's a nice layout that you can put over stock footage that matches what we're, what we're talking about. The other thing I'd like to talk about is when this is completed, let's say we're going to go back into what, what Taylor is telling us. So we'll go back into this video. Again, I'm going to separate and remove the audio. We're not concerned about the audio. And come back in where he's already speaking and let's put a transition on that again. So it'll fade from here to here. Okay, great. Now Taylor's going to keep telling us information that we'll want. He may even be reviewing what we've just learned. So let's go back into our library and back into the twill folder in the theme, the twill theme. And let's go over some callouts. Maybe I want something to come out and uh, allow us to, to be reminded of things that Taylor's speaking of. I like this callout. So let's use this callout. And we'll drag it down under our timeline where Taylor is speaking. That looks very nice. Now this is a, a general callout. It doesn't say anything in particular to what we're speaking about. Now there's an easy way to customize that. Also available in the Camtasia template library are additional assets. You can see there's arrows, buttons, certificates, computers and devices, icons, notes and paper. I'm going to go ahead and open up the icons. And there's quite a few icons here. If Taylor is telling us about um, ideas, we could use the light bulb graphic. If Taylor is giving us information that could keep us safe, we could use a band-aid graphic. We could use all these different graphics to, to supplement the information that is being given uh, in, in our video. I like this apple. We'll go ahead and grab this apple. We're going to download one that's readable by Camtasia. So we'll grab one of these PNGs. I don't need it to be too large, so I'll go ahead and grab this one. Back into Camtasia. We're going to import th that apple. And here you can see we'll place it right on top of the callout. Maybe we'll stick it here. There we go. And let's animate it with the callout. So we'll go ahead and pull out the visual properties, add an animation, go back to the beginning, and animate it to be on the outside of the frame, right like that. We'll need to put some easing on that animation easing, exponential in and out. And now that comes right out with the call out. And we'll want to animate that it goes back out as well. With exponential easing. And so you can see that it's very easy to combine live action video with an eLearning Brothers template and supplement it with stock video and some icons from the additional asset library. You can also do the same thing with screencasts. You can use icons to punctuate a, a topic or an item on your screen. I hope you have the best of luck using stock video and icons from the additional asset library. Thanks.